Coffee in the Middle East goes actually a long way. I believe that was a theme for people to get together and how people get together and enjoy their time with the Arabic coffee was around for the longest time, maybe a couple of hundred years, maybe more than that in the Arab world. In recent years, we really started to see the, the coffee taking a totally different path in terms of innovation overall in the world and even in the Middle East. It's not a traditional cup of coffee anymore that people drink. We started seeing different ways of brewing coffees. We started seeing different way of conducting business in terms of coffee. It's not just a cup of coffee that today we are serving. We are going beyond that. Our vision for Tim Hortons in the Middle East to be the cafe of choice. We actually provide more than just a cup of coffee. We provide experiential moments to our customers. And that require more than just preparing a good cup of coffee. From everything or in every aspect in our business, in our restaurant, from the ambience, from the look and feel, from the way we even we prepare coffee. It's experiential for our customer to see how we are preparing our coffee. Tim Hortons is creating disruption in the market today in the Middle East. And with our growth plan and with our innovations and how we do in business, how our restaurants are looking, the freshness in our food that we're providing, the quality of our coffee that has not been changed since 1964, then we do not compromise on that whatsoever. So it, the onus is on us to strike that consistency in experience that customers get in Canada vis-a-vis -vis what customers get in the Middle East. We're fortunate and have the benefit that a lot of students in the Middle East and a lot of expats studied and lived in Canada. So they've been exposed to Tim Hortons and therefore they know all the signature products. It's about the French vanilla, it's about the ice cap, it's about our donuts. The coffee machines, Kyoto, Siphon, V60s, the cold brew, all of that, it just shows the heritage of Tim Hortons, how we are actually uh, experienced in, in making coffee, not only making coffee, making quality coffee. Today I'm gonna to talk about very special drink, which is really brings back in Japan, 1600s. One of cool ways of making a cold brew. We are using for one batch, 100 grams of coffee. The preparation process itself, it takes around six hours, which we can make around six to seven cups of coffee in it. Well, it takes three to four minutes to be ready a Chemex. It takes around two to three minutes to prepare one V60 cup of coffee. This is uh, one of the stores that you can find only this uh, specialty coffee in entire UAE. And honestly, I always loved Tim Hortons, uh, so I went once to Canada to visit my brother. And when I came to Dubai Hills, the first thing that got my attention was the big tree in the middle of the place. I love it. I love the V60 coffee and I love the displays, how they put the machines. And it's, a, it's an experience, all in all. The team that work in the coffee shop, they are amazing. The service, the, the smile. You know, sometimes smile change your day. And that's why I came to this coffee shop. First of all, the service, location, and the quality of people that they receive. And this is the most important thing for me. So technology for us is not just the way we make coffee. It actually starts from the site selection. We just signed up with a company, a third party that for geomapping. Geomapping helps us actually select our sites. We study demographics, we study uh, income, we study uh, competition. It goes to our application and the AI involvement in our application. It goes in the way our machines, or coffee machines, we always bring the up-to-date one in terms of technology. So it's not just really uh, one aspect of the business. We look for every innovation out there in the coffee business. For the Middle East, I think drive throughs is a fundamental uh, channel for our business. Considering the uh, climate in the Middle East in general and the Gulf in specific, it's very hot out there and people 
prefer to actually be in their cars and order through the drive-throughs. Actually, our development uh, in drive-throughs last year was almost 50% of our new restaurants that we opened last year. 50% of them uh, were drive-throughs. We try and as much as we can, if we have a choice, to have a drive-through because it matches the uh, demand in the Middle East in specific and just to match the world trend overall. So in terms of diversity and inclusion, I think this is building on the principles and values of Tim Hortons globally and since our start. We've been one of the few coffee brands and cafes that truly envision the principle of democratizing this cafe space and having something for everyone. Considering the heritage of Tim Hortons in the past, coming from Canada since 1964, and today we are 5,600 Tim Hortons across the globe and in Canada, the Middle East has been the fastest uh, growing international market outside of Canada. We've been growing exponentially in terms of uh, opening uh, restaurants. Our vision is unlimited, where we can take the brand in the Middle East. 500 by 2025, this is just a milestone that we will reach, and sky is the limit after that for the brand to grow over the next 10 to 20 years.